Hi, I'm Larry. I own the New Balance North Jersey store. It's my original store that's been here for 15 years. I also own New Balance Westchester and New Balance Princeton. So my dad was a furrier and going to work with him on Saturdays, I thought maybe retail would be my career. But then I went to law school and became an attorney for 15 years and came up with the idea of the all New Balance shoe store. Um, and my partner and I opened that in Highland Park, Illinois. Are you doing the new 786? Well, Larry and I became friends. We met in Boston on a softball field at a softball tournament in 1987. It started by visiting my friend Alan in Somerville, Mass. And Larry's one of the most unique people you, you can ever meet. He's brilliant and confident and and outgoing. So he said to me, do you wear New Balance shoes? I said, you know what New Balance is? He said, yeah. I said, it's all I wear. He said, it's all I wear too. And the factory's having a sale. So we went shopping. So they had their factory outlet store and it was a true factory outlet. There was a factory building right behind there and it was like being in a candy store. Uh, seeing all this cool stuff by a company we really liked. I bought three pairs of shoes and he bought three pairs of shoes and I said, you know, six pairs of shoes, we might as well open our own store. And he said, I would do it. I said, what? It came to us both, like, hey, wouldn't this be a cool business idea to transfer someplace else? Because I don't think anybody knows that New Balance makes so much variety of products. Oh, I said, I'm a business lawyer. Let's go upstairs and tell him our plan. So we went upstairs and we met with the owner and the, and the vice president of New Balance and, uh, and they approved our idea. And they said, we've been looking for somebody. We've had the idea too but nobody's done it yet and you guys can be the first. It was kind of uh, extremely bold and brash to just think that we could just approach a company and, and, and say we can do something, but it, I, think, it, I think Larry Larry's confidence kind of brushed off, helped me and have that confidence that I needed to, to present an idea and, and just zoom, forge ahead. And on my own, I might not have been able to do it. Shortly after that, somebody opened in downtown Chicago and somebody opened in New York. So there were three stores in the country and our Highland Park store had competition from, uh, from the very beginning. Initially, the first year was kind of rough and it looked touch and go on whether the store was kind of going to make it. Uh, some people who came into the store questioned me like, why would you do a whole store devoted to New Balance? Like it's such a, uh, a minor brand that nobody really knows about. It's like kind of like, just has a loyal cult following. I said, well, I really believe in the brand. I think it, there's, it's more than just running shoes. It's, uh, and I wanted to kind of create a show, a show place and a, a flagship store to show people uh, what New Balance really offered. We were confident in ourselves as retailers and uh, you can always sell what you like. So uh, we thought we would do well. So his store has been in the top 10 in the chain for a very long time. I've always just wanted to have one store. I never wanted to have a chain. Uh, I always want to make my store the best it can be. And it's still, it's, it's a challenge every day. Four years later, I opened the New Balance store in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. After a few years, the internet started getting hot, and I told Alan I was the noisy, silent partner, and I said, you need to be aggressive on the internet. And he said, no, you need to be passive on the internet. He wouldn't agree, so I said, you know what? It sounds like it's time for me to open my own store and compete, and you do things your way, and I'll do things my way, and we'll still be partners, and we'll see how it goes. We are the number one retailer. We sell more New Balance shoes out of this store than any store in the country of any type, not only of the New Balance concept stores, but any of the other uh, shoe dealers that are competitors 11 years in a row now. We built the business with the concept that we want to make the customer happy. It's extremely gratifying to be able to make someone smile by fitting them correctly. It's a phenomenon that actually happens quite a bit. We have to redouble our efforts to really be better at customer service than we ever were. Otherwise, we're not much better than just uh, uh, you know having shoes delivered delivered to their doorstep by mail. Well, one of the things is there's different foot types and arch types, and we have a, a lot of different types of shoes, and not everybody's supposed to wear every type of shoe. 
but when you're young and healthy, you pick shoes based on the color. And when you get older and your feet don't work as well anymore, then you pick shoes based on comfort. And that's why people drive a long distance to get here, because they know we know which type of shoe they should be in. So that's what differentiates us. It's always good to follow something that you feel passionate about, that you want to do, that you love to do. Um, and I, you know, I, being in business for myself was something I wanted to try and, and do. And you can't just hire kids and uh, not pay any attention to the business. Some of the business is buying, some of the business is selling, but most of all it's interacting with the customers. And uh, when you have a store that nobody's really running things, then it just becomes like a fast food chain restaurant that nobody cares. If somebody tells you what they want, you'll give it to them. But nobody's interested in finding out what the customer wants, which is really the key. You know, it's important for everyone to, to find something that they really p feel passionate about and want to do and, and be able to stick to it. The typical American dream that you have an idea and you run with it and then everybody copies it and then corporate goes and competes with you and everybody tries to tear down your dream. But still, we're, we feel like we're living the dream. I love working in a shoe store. It's very relaxing. I sit and tell stories to the customers all day. And uh, the best thing is, if somebody's not happy, we'll take their shoes back or replace them or give them a free pair. And everybody's happy. And uh, as an ex-lawyer, it's not always easy to make people happy that easily. And recently opened a new store called Vera's Boutique. There is a boutique that caters to women who want comfortable shoes, that need shoes in a wider width. We built the business uh, at New Balance with the concept that we want to make the customer happy. You can do the same thing here with a wide selection of comfort shoes in a boutique environment that lends itself to a relaxed shopping experience. When your feet are happy, you're happy, and, and yet another customer goes out the door happy, and that's one of our mottos is we make customers happy one at a time.